Hello and welcome to the F4T how-to video tutorial series. In this video we are going to review how to remove and add flex modules. In addition to the flex module, label kit, and quick start guide, I would recommend you have a few tools available to help you do the job. A small screwdriver and pliers will make this job a little easier to do. On the side of the F4T case, there is a pictorial label that identifies six slots. Each of these six slots represents a space where a flex module can be plugged into the back of the F4T case. Use the stickers to label the module and the green connector with the slot number where you will place the module. In this example, I will be adding the flex module into slot number four. When adding a module in the bottom row, you will want to put the number sticker on the bottom of the green connector rather than the top so you can see it when the flex module is installed. Use the tip of the screwdriver to help get the stickers positioned exactly before pressing them in place. Take the matching number four sticker and add this to the flex module itself. Any flex module can go into any of the six F4T slots. There are only two exceptions to this rule. The 232-45 Modbus module can only function in slot six. The second exception is that the 10 amp SSR module fits only in slots one, two, four, and five because it requires an empty slot to its right. This controller has modules in all the slots except for slot 4. To add a new module in slot 4, you'll have to first remove the slot plug. Note that the connector on the module to the right overlaps this plug. You'll need to remove this connector before removing the plug. Sliding a screwdriver behind the back of the connector is a fast and easy way to remove it. Now you can remove the slot plug. Using a pliers, grab a hold of the handle and pull straight back. Now let's install a new flex module. I want to ensure I have the module in right side up. A quick visual check is to see if the tab on the bottom will line up with the groove in the F4T case. To install the module in the controller, slowly insert it into the F4T case. When you finish pushing in the flex module all the way, you should hear a clear click indicating the module has been locked into the F4T case. Replace the connectors, making sure to put each in the correct modules. This completes an overview of how to add an FM module into the F4T case. Be sure to check out more how-to videos on the F4T at our website www.watlow.com